Hello Pisces, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a love re and relationship reading for Pisces from the 21st of January to the 3rd of February 2019. Please don't forget to watch your moon and rising sign for a more complete picture. I put the decks that I'm using in the description box and I put in links to Amazon and eBay. So click on these links to go and look at the decks and buy them. Um, and don't forget to watch my deck walkthrough series. Uh, you'll find that interesting. And also don't forget to watch your yearly spreads. I will put the links to that at the end of the video. So like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if these messages resonate with you. So I'm starting off with this general energy read and then I will do the general tarot read for you afterwards. Okay, so you're dealing with a very comic situation at the moment. Uh, so this is a very fateful event that you're dealing with, and it's time to take your control back. So, um, you know, the universe is pushing you to take back your control, and this is maybe what you're learning in this particular relationship. And it's also pushing you to take a chance, so you need to take back your power, and this is what the message seems to be. So in the past, you've you know, you've been very loyal, very devoted to whatever relationship you've been in. And there's uh, the don't panic card. So whatever's going on, you know, although it seems like things have been, you know, not quite going your way, don't panic. It's all working out as it should be. So going into the future, you've got a casual affair. So if you're single, it might be something coming in uh, that's just something casual, uh, you know, just to take your mind off um, all this uh, that is going on all the, uh, you know, difficult stuff in life. So something, you know, a casual affair, something to lift your spirits and give you that self-confidence. Uh, you might be dealing with a lot of uh, vindictive, spiteful behavior as well. So just watch out for people that are not quite working in your favor. You've got a snake over here. So this is talking about, you know, people uh, and, and bees. So, you know, a lot of gossip, a lot of vindictive talk, talk something very toxic happening around you. Maybe they're talking and gossiping about you because you're having a casual affair. You know, uh, people can be a bit nasty uh, if they have got nothing better to do. <laughs> so just ignore them and, uh, you know, but just be aware that there is that spiteful, vindictive uh, behavior, toxic energy going on around you as well. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So I have shuffled this deck. This is the Art Nouveau Tarot and I shall put in links for you to get it. It is quite a rare deck. Uh, so that might be a bit difficult, but let's see what it's got to say. Okay, so the general energies is the hermit. And you're, so you've been spending a lot of time by yourself, maybe focusing a lot on your work, doing a lot of introspection, you know, maybe, maybe doing a lot of analysis of, about the situation as well. Hermit is the card ruled by Virgo. So you do tend, to, you know, it is a card that tends to be rather alone, a very lonely um, energy that comes out from, from the hermit, you know, walking your own path if you like. So maybe that's what you've been doing recently, walking your own path and, you know, been spending a lot of time by yourself. So what's happening with you? You've got the Ace of Cups coming in. So there's a new relationship that's going to be coming in for you with this Ace of Cups, something, you know, really beautiful, uh, something really fulfilling. Uh, you can see this cup is absolutely full. So it's going to really, you know, satisfy you. And then it's crossed by the Nine of Cups, which is the card of satisfaction. So whatever this new relationship in, is, it's going to be, you know, the, they, usually say, they usually say that the Nine of Cups is a wish fulfillment card. So it is something that you've been wishing for, and the universe seems to be giving you this gift. Um, and it is going to be something that, you know, uh, that both you and the other person are going to be very, very happy with. You can see both these cups are full. And these are both single cups, so they're both aces of cups. So it's a brand new relationship that's going to bring you a lot of love, a lot of happiness, and a lot of joy. And that seems to be coming in for you. So in the past, you've got the strength card, and this is having dealt with a lot of problems in the past. Um, you know, this woman is now 
tamed this lion, but also sitting alone still. So you've spent a lot of time by yourself, but you have managed to sort out all your problems, and you're pretty calm. Uh, and you know, you've, you're centered, you're calm, you know exactly who you are, and you're in control of that situation with the strength card. So, and the temperance card is, you're very balanced as well. So you've got that inner strength that you've built up in this past. So all the problems that you've been through, even though you've been spending a lot of time as the hermit by yourself, has, you know, built you up so that you're very strong and very, you know, there's a, there's a good foundation. You can see that these trees are very sturdy. And with the temperance card, you can see this woman is very balanced as well. So, you know, you've got everything under control. You've got your emotions completely under control here. And you're very healed up. You're also very guided and very intuitive as well with this temperance card. And you've got the star. So this is beautiful. You've got three major arcana cards around this relationship that you've got. So you can see the car, stars on the top here. You've got the temperance card underneath. And you've got the strength card to the side. So it's showing that, you know, this whole relationship here is now being very divinely guided. It's something that the universe wants you to have because it's surrounding you. It's giving you guidance. You've got three angels, you know, this is the star card is about, you know, um, throwing out anything that is negative, that is not serving you. You can see this woman standing, in, you know, with these fish around her uh, legs, her feet over here. So, you know, you are very in touch with your emotions. She's thrown out all the things that are not serving, all those negative emotions, all the toxicity is gone. And she's, you know, she's bare. She's got no clothes on. And so that's showing that, you know, you haven't got any um, airs and fancies. What they see is what they're going to get in this relationship. You are being very honest, very open about who you are and what what you're all about. And, you know, the star card is, is showing that people see you as that. You, they see you as that leader. And it's also a card of guidance and inspiration. And this is how you're coming across to the world as being a very inspiring person, a very calm person, very centered person. And, you know, somebody that uh, is divinely guided at this particular moment. It's a very calm, lovely energy, actually. Now, the Queen of Swords is you, you have had a lot of problems and difficulties in the past. The Queen of Swords, you can see, she's holding this sword in hand, but it's bleeding. So whatever hurts you have, although you're trying to hide it, it is showing through, but it has changed you for the better. But it's also changed the fact that you are not going to be a person who takes any kind of nonsense from anybody. You are there to stand up for what you believe in, and you are there to take control of the situation. And it is a very lonely card, however. Uh, you know, a person has been through so much and has decided that, you know, they're better off being alone than, uh, you know, to have anybody around them that's going to hurt them. And, you know, you are um, a bit, um, you know, defensive because, you know, you can see that um, she's got the sword in her hand. I suppose if somebody had to, uh, you know, uh, try and attack her, she'd be the first to take that sword out and put it through them. So, you know, you are very defensive about what happened. And this is just because of all the hurt that you've gone through. You know, you're, you have been really heartbroken in the past. You might have been divorced or separated from somebody, and it was a very difficult breakup. But there's no need to do that because it seems like with this Ace of Cups, you know, something really beautiful is coming in. And this person that is coming in for you is going to be somebody who's very understanding. So you have ended a cycle, it seems. Um, and you can see with this Ten of Rods, this man is really crying. It was a very burdensome situation. So you're alone right now and you are still thinking about whatever happened. Uh, and, you know, you're, you're sitting over there and maybe reminiscing about the past and it really has has made you really upset. But it is the time to let go now. The cycle is completely ended with the Ten of Rods and those past burdens, those difficulties are now over and you're recovering from it. You've got the Empress card around you, so you are getting to a phase where whatever you think about you will manifest, abundance is coming your way. Abundance in the form of a good relationship and love and joy and happiness. This is the card that is ruled by Venus and Venus is the planet that rules love and rules happiness. And it's also a card that you're coming into your own. So this woman is sitting here right next to the Queen of Swords, if you can see. So, you know, although, you know, the Queen of Swords is a person who is, uh, you know, she knows what she wants and she can be a bit cold on the, on, on, um, in a certain aspect. The Empress is a card ruled. And the, the Queen of Swords is, uh, you know, uh, the sign denoting um, Libra. And Libra is ruled by Venus. And you're sitting next to it uh, as the Empress. 
So although you're trying to come across as being that stern person who, who is, you know, says what she wants, and actually what people see you as being a very loving, nurturing, caring person, and they're not seeing that harsh side of Venus. They're actually seeing that wonderfully soft, loving, caring side of Venus, and that's how the world is seeing you, as being somebody that is really in control of things, somebody very nurturing, and somebody that, you know, they want to get to know. These are, you know, uh, an Em the Empress is the card of the mother, and that is how they see you. Now, um, you've got the Page of Swords over here. It seems like you're waiting for some kind of message, some kind of decision, some kind of communication to come in, something official, and that seems to be on your mind right now. So going to the future, you've got the Magician, the Knight of Coins, and the Five of Coins. So the Magician is somebody who's trying to manifest. So you are trying to make things happen. Maybe you're going out, maybe you're dating, maybe you're meeting people. There's a lot of communication with the, with the magician. It's also somebody that's working very hard. And maybe this is how you will meet this person through your work situation, a communication, a work communication. You know, you will meet them quite unexpectedly. This is a one card, so this is the beginning of things. And it will be a very unexpected communication that comes across, uh, you know, and it's going to be when you're at your busiest, when you least expect it. It seems like that's the time that you will uh, communicate with this person. And this person is the Knight of Coins. So you will meet this person through work. Uh, and it'll be a communication that you will have uh, through your work situation uh, when you meet this person. Now, try not to let, you know, uh, past disappointments affect this relationship. You've got the five of coins over here, which is talking about loss or lack or, you know, um, broken promises. And try not to handle this relationship as though it's going to go down the same route. Maybe this is the reason why you're the queen of swords right now, because you're you know, you, you're working with that energy still about being disappointed in life, um, you know, where things didn't work out, where people let you down. But this person, it seems, is going to be the Knight of Coins. They're not a very quick-moving energy. You know, Knight of Coins is pretty slow. They ride a donkey, usually. So they'll take for ages, maybe, to make their move. But it is somebody that is very, very reliable and somebody who prods to the top or somebody who is there who can support you. They're very honest, open, and very hardworking. So this is the person that you will meet, and it will be through work, through the magician, and it'll be when you're at your busiest, this is the time that this um, relationship will take off. So try not to let any previous disappointments block that relationship. You need to open up, because uh, you don't want to end up in a situation where you miss the boat. And you can do that if you, um, you know, if you are too harsh or you know, too closed off, you can end up missing that opportunity. And it might actually be, it's something that the universe is putting into your hands because you've got the Nine of co uh, Cups over here. So this relationship that seems that you will manifest with this person, the Knight of Cups, um, the Knight of Coins. Now this Knight of Coins could be anybody from an Earth sign uh, because um, it could be a, a Taurus, um, Capricorn, or a, a Virgo person. So that could be the person that you, uh, you connect with, that you click with and it's going to be something that's really a very very good a very very satisfying a wish fulfillment it's been something that you've been asking for for a long time and since you're su surrounded by these major arcana it seems like the universe is been listening to you so whatever difficulty that you've been going through with this night uh, the ten of uh, rods over here it seems like that situation is now over so it's time to let go of that and um, focus on your work and it seems like that's the per that's where you are going to be meeting this particular person. Something through a work situation, something that involves money. Because it is the uh, Knight of Coins. So the first card from the uh, Archangel Power Tarot is the Empress. It's the second Empress that is appearing here. Time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded, luxurious and abundant resources. So this is a card guided by Archangel Gabriel. And it looks like that's how uh, you're coming across as being the empress, somebody who can manifest. And this card uh, advises, you know, it's time to act on your plans. So whatever you're doing, you're in a manifestation mood. Uh, so act on those plans. Don't sit back. Um, the second card is the Knight of Gabriel, which says, time to take action, great passion for a cause, instinctively knowing what to do. So it looks like, um, you know, it is a time for you to act. If this relationship presents itself, you know, uh, go for it. It's something that is going to bring you a lot of happiness. 
And then the ten of Raphael, which says, love and blessings fill your life, harmonious relationships with family members, happily ever after. So it looks like whatever you manifest in this relationship might end up in a marriage uh, with the ten of Raphael. Uh, you know, a very good partnership. You've got the end of difficulties with this rainbow over here, and it looks like, you know, there will be transformation. So, you know, whatever is coming your way, you've been asking for it. It's the Ace of Cups, it's a brand new relationship beginning, and it's crossed by the Nine of Cups, which is going to be very, very good. And it looks like, you know, uh, you've got the Magician and the Knight of Coins, you might meet this person at work, um, and there'll be a lot of communication with this person as well. There might be some travel as well with this person. But try not to let any previous disappointments or lack ruin the whole situation. So see it with fresh eyes. Uh, don't... Uh, painted with the same paintbrush that the previous relationship uh, was about uh, because that is, you know, will will end up uh, contaminating the fresh relationship that you have. So I hope that everything works out for you and please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it, if it uh, resonates with you. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.